Hey guys, welcome back to Sarmom's YouTube channel. My name is Erasmus and today we're gonna talk about two good things, but a very bad combination, tattoos and alcohol. The thing with tattoos and alcohol is that they should always be enjoyed separately. Never together, not before, not after, always separately. Tattoos and alcohol never really works hand in hand and that is because you need your body in the right shape, in the right state of mind when it's about to get tattooed. Alcohol doesn't really help that. Alcohol is basically toxic for your body even though it can feel nice when you are drinking but alcohol is, um, is thinning the blood and what happens when the blood is thinner than normally? A lot happens. You bleed more, more plasma is coming from your skin when you get tattooed. It also means that the tattoo artist has a harder time actually doing his tattoo because if you keep on bleeding, it's gonna blur the vision, it's gonna blur what he can do with your skin. And it also means that the ink pigmentation has a harder time staying in your skin. That means that the long-term result can be worse and it can also end up meaning that you need a, a touch-up on your tattoo. Also, judgment often goes away when you drink. We all know it after a hard night out, you wake up in the morning, totally dehydrated. Being dehydrated and tired and exhausted is never gonna, ever gonna turn into a nice and good tattoo experience. So don't drink before you get tattooed. Often when people drink, they're surrounded by a lot of people, they are dancing, they're partying, they're doing all kind of fun and crazy stuff. And that stuff is not good for your new tattoo. That should be treated with respect. It should be clean all the time and it should be on a body that is actually able to heal itself using products but you should make sure that your body is in the right state of mind to take care and to heal up a new tattoo imagine you get a new nice tattoo on your arm you go clubbing with all of the friends all of the guys drunk people they don't look with the eyes they look with their fingers and that means suddenly you have a friend like jacob sitting there touching your new tattoo and jacob probably forgot to disinfect his fingers after he just spilled a beer on another guy it's never ever good to go out drinking with a new tattoo of course one beer, a glass of wine, whatever, it doesn't harm anything, but don't go crazy, don't get drunk. As said, enjoy tattoos and alcohol as two individual things, keep it separate. Once your tattoo is healed up nicely, it's also much nicer to go party with it and show it to all of your friends. Personally, I also think it's a good uh, check mark to look at when you when you search for a tattoo artist. If he or she says that he she don't want to tattoo you if you're uh, affected by alcohol, it's, if you ask me, a good, it's a good mindset to have. If you end up at a tattoo shop with an artist that would be happy to tattoo you when you're drunk, I wouldn't do it. Always look for a tattoo artist that don't tattoo drunk people. I think that's it for today. If you have any questions, any comments, any crazy stories about drunk people with, with new tattoos or people getting tattooed while being drunk, feel free to share them. I know guys and girls that have some good stories and I always, always enjoy them, but I don't really recommend drinking and getting tattooed as a combo. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, share it with your friends, ring the bell, do all of that, and see you next time. Adios.